Hey, what's up, guys? It's Richie from Boston. It's Saturday, 11.30, Mountain Time, and I am... I woke up in Colorado Springs, and I am now in Wyoming, heading west to California. So check this out. I'm driving this morning, and I say a prayer this morning, and that's that. And then I'm driving, and I'm still half asleep. I slept a little late. I slept till 7 this morning. And I start having a prayer or a talk or a chat with God, I guess. Just, you know, awkward as all heck. Because sometimes you feel like you're just talking to, you know, yourself, maybe. And it was strange because I had a series of things I wanted to ask God. And I'm addressing him like I'm talking to someone sitting right next to me. And it's crazy. I, I just got a bunch of different e-books, audio books, and I'm flipping through them. I put one on. It's talking about giants and Nephilim and uh, some other thing. And so far, it's a good audio book. There's a lot of good information. Adam and Eve in the garden, tempting Eve, etc., etc. But then it goes off into things like the other planets and Satan used to rule a planet that exploded. So you take what you can and you leave the rest. But here's the thing. In the first four minutes of that audiobook, which I didn't even look down at the title, I just hit it and had it hit play. It literally answered every question I asked God that morning. And it's just so crazy. I'm still listening to the audiobook. I turn on to Route 80 West, and he's talking about giants, Goliath, Og, etc. And I look up, and I'm still looking at it, I look up at my GPS and it says 430 miles to North Ogden. Ogden was named after King Og, the giant and his den, his house. How insanely crazy is that? How crazy is that? I guess the long story short is... Even though I'm praying to God this morning, and nobody knows about it, it's just me doing it. You guys know now. But the things that I asked, this random book that I pulled up answered all of them in the first four minutes. And I'm sitting there going, are you kidding me? And look. You see what I'm saying? So it's crazy. So if you're alone, or you're scared, and you think there's no hope for anything, you don't have enough money, you're, you're afraid of what's coming, you're worried about Biden sending someone to your door with a f***ing, etc., 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 have absolute, utter, complete, and total faith that if you know God created you and everything that we see, hear, feel, and experience at all times, you're good. No one ever said life was going to be easy. No one ever said life was supposed to be easy. We were born into a system that was already up and running that tells you you're supposed to go to work every day. You're supposed to pay taxes. You're supposed to come home and watch television. You're supposed to idolize sports teams. You're supposed to idolize movie stars. Science has figured everything out. There was no creation. There was a big bang. There was nothing. There was nothing. And then nothing exploded which breaks pretty much every law of thermodynamics, but whatever. They have gone through unbelievable pains to make you think that there is, God's not real. They went after the church. They made everybody think that the church was nothing but rapist, etc., etc. They have gone through everything step by step, inch by inch. They genetically modified all the food, the water, the air. They put action in absolutely everything, and they have literally changed Male to female, female to male. It's been proven. Monsanto hired, I can't think of his name, the black scientist with the wacky earrings and such. They hired him to look into the effects of acne when he came back and said, this stuff can literally change a living thing from a male to a female that can actually give birth. They tried to destroy him. So it's not a, it's not a conspiracy theory, it's a thing. Everything has been modified. Everything is to turn everything the way it was before the last flood in the Bible.
Bible tells you that on the first page. You know what I'm saying? Have faith in God. Have utter, utmost faith in God. I listen to the Divine Comedy, which is Dante's Inferno. His, his guided tour by Virgil, the famous poet, the famous pagan poet, into the rings of hell. And I'll tell you what, having no faith in God is one of the biggest sins. Being a hypocrite, huge sin. Adulterer, huge sin. Everything that is completely promoted through Hollywood is leading everybody straight to this place. And I don't think that, I'm of the opinion, I'm climbing a hill, 6,800 feet going up. I can smell my gas, but they, my, I can smell the gas expanding in my, under my hood. Every time I open my gas tank, it, it exhales. Ah. I am of the opinion that things like Dante's Inferno it isn't just a random book. It's 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 true. It's there's more truth to it than you would imagine. There's more truth in ancient literature than there is in history books now. How about that? And most of you should know that by now. You do not want to be in an eternal place void of God. That's what hell is. No matter what the punishments are, no matter what anything else is, you do not want to spend eternity in a place devoid of God, which means there's no light, there's no sky, there's no stars. Just know that, okay? Just know that. If you don't know what to say, you don't know how to pray, pray to The disciples asked Jesus, how do we pray? He said to them, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. And I don't say amen. Amen Ra. I don't say amen because I've heard the people at the Vatican singing it too many times. I just say my prayer in the holy name of Yehoshua HaMashiach, I pray. So there you go. Believe it or don't. I'm out. I got a mountain to climb. 7,054 feet. It's running good. Take it for what it is. At any rate.